One. Big smile, two. Big smile, ma. And three. Give her a kiss or something. Good. All right, great. See you guys. Look good for you, Ma? Yeah. I think I made a two on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, it's a jacket up. It's a blue gilly. Holy cow. Heavy? Yeah. I know. It's a ski jacket. And I don't even ski. I hate skiing. Oh, Got a million pockets in this jacket. <laughs> I feel like Bobby Brady. <laughs> Me and you today are gonna make uh, meatball parmesan pot pie. Yeah. I made a giant meatball first, then I put the pie crust down. You didn't cut the meatball up, you left the one piece? One piece, yeah. I will cut it up for you. Yeah, well, let's, yeah, let's try it. When you make a chicken pot pie, you, cut, you, chop the, you chop the chicken. No, but I put, them, I put the chopped meat in raw, like a shepherd's pie type of ah, thing. Oh, okay. And then I added the sauce, the pecorino romano, the Cheese you and then cook the, the meat. No. You have to cook the meat first. No, I think we could pull it off without doing it. I think it I, cooks it right in the sauce. Yeah, it cooked right in there. Yeah. But back in the day, Ma, you didn't have when you guys grew up. You didn't have pecorino romano. We just get cheese from the no, goat from the cheese from the uh, the deli. Homemade the, cheese. What? What deli? Somebody would. Oh, <laughs> Ready to do this, Ma? Mm-hmm. Ready. Yeah. All right. Let's go. If there's ever been a guy on a mission, it's me, comedian and cooking fanatic, Sal Governale. Each week I travel around with just my toaster oven, showing people how to make big meals in small places. All right, so we have all the ingredients here, and unlike a chicken pot pie, which uh, I, we never even had chicken pot pies growing up. No, we didn't. No, not at all. <laughs> we are making meatball parmesan pot pie with Mama Governale. Ma, let's, let's get, get started. started. So we have a pound of ground beef here, okay? And we're basically gonna make meatballs. That's because it's a meatball palm pot pie. I loved your meatballs growing up, Mom. Who taught you how to make meatballs? My mother. Yeah, you know that we call her Nana Pizza. Nana Pizza, my mother. Which is grandma, and then we ate a pizza because she owned a pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of Jackie Gleason when he was on the $99,000 question. Humana, humana. My mom's a little camera shy. Forget the cameras, Ma. Okay. Loosen up. Relax. There you go. Okay. You know, pretend you're playing bingo or you're playing roulette. Okay. This is the roulette wheel. All right. These are all the numbers. You're gonna win. Okay. okay. All right. So we're making meatball parmesan pot pie made by, learned by my mother. <laughs> okay. And here we go. So we have a mom takeover from here. We have a pound of ground beef. What do we add to that for our meatball? We add, uh, first we add some grated cheese. Okay, a pound like, of ground beef. Like two tablespoons. I would say like three, right? They were heaping. Yeah, we can eat three. All right. Um, then we add some breadcrumbs. It's about a quarter cup, right? Yes. Uh, then we add like about two tablespoons of uh, garlic. So we have two tablespoons so of chopped garlic. Chopped garlic. Three tablespoons so of pecorino romano breadcrumbs. And this is parsley. This is about a quarter cup of parsley. Quarter cup of parsley. Of fresh parsley. And then we're gonna add uh, two eggs. Two eggs. Just crack those eggs. Put it right in this bowl. Then we mix all together. With our hands. Just oh, by the way, I added my, uh, I added salt and pepper to the beef as well. So season okay, it with salt and pepper. Season with salt and pepper. So now mom's We just mix it just like a meatball. Now Ma, in Italy, you didn't make, when you were a kid, you didn't have, you couldn't afford meat. So how did, what did yeah, you make? We made of, meatballs with uh, breadcrumbs. Eggs, just the same, except no meat. And then we fry them and we put them in a sauce. So you know what, that gave me an idea. If you guys are vegans out there, you can make vegetarian meatballs. meatballs. Just with breadcrumbs, with eggs, parsley, Sweet. and garlic, and you can deep fry it the same way. So right now, uh, my mother's making a giant meatball. Traditionally, you would take this meat and you would make little meatballs out of it. 
but today we're making meatball parmesan pot pie. So this is actually gonna be one giant meatball. Meatballs. So Ma, can you form that into a meatball? Yes, of course. Okay. So my mom's forming the meatball, and what I'm gonna do is, we have uh, a pie tin here that I bought at the store. You could get three like for two bucks. Very, very cheap. And it's all about keeping this convenient and easy. So when you're done, you can throw away uh, the pie tin. We're going to get uh, two tablespoons of marinara sauce, or your favorite sauce. Put that on the bottom. Wait, hold on. Then we're gonna sprinkle it with some grated cheese. Just a little bit. This kind of reminds me of a lasagna in a way. Right? right. It's like a pie lasagna. All right, put a giant meatball in there. Then Mom, we, yeah, Mom. Then we squish it down. And make some holes in it. I put holes so the sauce can go through the meatballs and give a nice taste. Oh, that's good, that's good. All right, so we got the holes in there. What do we add next? We now? added some sauce first. Okay. And right. I noticed that, don't get scared, but you can cook this with the uh, ground beef raw. Yes. You know, because it's going to be for 45 minutes in the toaster oven and the, the meat will cook thoroughly through uh, in the pie crust. That's good. So we got a little sauce. What's next? Then we added some pecorino. Pecorino Romano cheese, a nice sprinkle of that on top. Perfect. That's about a tablespoon of Pecorino Romano. And then we add some, the less is mozzarella. Right. Now, when I go to the supermarket, what I recommend you do is you get the cheese blend. There's something called a pizza blend, which is provolone, it's Romano cheese, and mozzarella cheese. It has such a better flavor. Wouldn't you agree, Ma? I agree. You do? <laughs> My I, mom just goes I, along with anything I, I, I say. I agree completely. <laughs> okay. So now we have our second pie crust. And what we're going to do here is place it on top. Uh, again, we got the pie crust at the supermarket. You just roll it out. And then what? watch this closely here. Take the top edge of the top crust, and then here's the bottom crust that is uh, hanging out so, uh, slightly, and just fold the top over the bottom and press. Look how simple that is. And just keep doing that. Go all the way around the pan for that. That's really, really easy. Okay, and just keep going around. Take the top crust and push it over the bottom crust. Go all the way around. Look how easy it is, am I right? Maybe easy, yes. And then what I like to do is, you see the edges? Push them down with your finger. You don't want the edges up because the edges could burn in the toaster oven. They'll get brown first. Look at that. It's a meatball parmesan pot pie. Done. Delicious. So simple. So we got Mama Gervinali's specialty meatball. My idea of the pot pie. Let's add a little egg wash on top. And then, Mom, once I add the egg wash on top, you'll sprinkle it with the Pecorino Romano cheese, and we'll put it in the toaster oven. Sound good? Yes. And as well, there's one more thing we need to do. Before you guys slide it in the toaster oven, make sure that you give it a few, poke a few holes in it to let the steam out. Because you got that beef, and you got that sauce, you got that cheese. Sprinkle it up, Mom. Just give it a and nice sprinkle. Cheese. There you go. Perfect. Great. So good. Perfect. Now, we slide it in the toaster oven at 350 degrees. Ma, push the button for 45 minutes. And we're good to go. Mama Gervinale's meatball parmesan pot pie. Marona mia, que bellissimo. <laughs> Ma, I mean, you're getting crazy here. No. <laughs> you're going nuts. You Calm do down. You're the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you in a second. All right. It's been 45 minutes. Wow, and here it is. Look at this. Look at that, Ma. Wow, it looks delicious. It's got Can't that, wait to eat. That beautiful golden <laughs> crust, huh? With the Parmesan cheese on top. Just let it sit for 10 minutes, let it cool down, cut it up and serve. And you have? Meatball pot pie Parmesan. Meatball pot pie Parmesan. You think Daddy will like this? Oh, he probably eat the whole thing. All right. <laughs> We're going to keep it to ourselves, hide it from my dad. I'll see you guys soon. We're going to enjoy this. Say goodbye, Ma. Say bye. Bye. Say ciao. Ciao, arrivederci. <laughs> <laughs>